The man by his nature, it seems he struggles with advice and husband and wife, particularly between them, they struggle with Islamic advice. So a husband will give advice to his wife and she will have this allergic reaction. It's like electricity, a current is going through her veins and it's like you're trying to control me. You're just, you're not, this is so unromantic. Why are you talking like that? And similarly, a wife, she may try to advise her husband and how will he hear it? You're calling my leadership of the relationship into question. I'm the one who should be giving the advice to you. Well, like, what do you know? Like I attend did this retreat and this course and I've done this online program. I know, like I know, you don't need to tell me. There's just a current, there's a bad air in the room the moment they bring Islam into the conversation. And a lot of brothers and sisters, husbands and wives, they don't know how to hold an Islamic conversation. Have you noticed? Like they can talk about anything. Football, weather, children, food, family. Islam, ah. Oh. There's just an awkwardness in the room and we just want to kind of turn that page and continue. They don't know how to do it. And Islam only ever comes up in conversation when they've fallen out. Mum and dad are now dragging them to the sheikh and he's now trying to solve their issues. It shouldn't be like that. Now this aspect, our hatred of Islamic advice, uh, to deal with it, remember two things. The first, see advice as a gift that has been presented to you. That's how our predecessors saw advice. They didn't see it as a bullet that was shot at them, called into question their dignity and their honor. It's like, you've given me advice, Jazakallah khair. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to change it before my fault is called out by Allah on the day of judgment. And then I can't do anything about that then. Thank you, Jazakallah khair.